the contact information question lets you ask your respondents for some demographic info in a series of text boxes. You can choose exactly what to ask for as well, so you can make sure you're only getting the information that you need. After you've added your question text to your survey, enter in your question text at the top. Each label is already pre-filled for you, but feel free to edit them as much as you'd like. By default, your question will ask for all contact information, but if you only want to ask for a bit, you can uncheck visible on any information you don't want to ask for. If you're asking people to enter in their state in the US, you can choose to display that as a drop down instead. That way they can select their state rather than having to type it out. Under the options tab, you can make your question required. Since you can ask for lots of information, you can even specify the information that you require people to answer. It's also a good idea to customise the error message so people know what's required if they don't enter in the necessary info. When you have a look at your results, you'll see each piece of contact information labelled separately. Next to that, you can see how many people entered an answer in each field. Click Responses on any label to check how people answered. Then click View Respondents Answers if you'd like to see how each person answered the rest of the survey. And if you want your default view back, just click Responses again to hide the answers. Should you want to download your contact information for your contact lists, just click Export, Question Summary Data, and then download to XLS to get a nice spreadsheet with all your contacts.